I'm a ghost with the most, babe. Hello everyone and welcome to day 8 of Terrathon, complete with the worst pun of all time. Horror animals. I want to do a little tribute to all the animal actors that have appeared in horror movies. Animal actors are very much the unsung heroes in movies, and that goes for horror too. So I just want to shine a light on some of the things that they do. Starting with the m monkey from Monkey Shines. If you've never heard of the movie, it came out in 1988. It was directed by George A. Romero. And it's all about a quadriplegic man who has trained his monkey Ella to help him. And then he decides to inject a serum made up of human brain tissue into Ella. And she goes apeshit. The monkey in this movie was called Boo and she was a capuchin monkey. And it was one of the very few times in history a male monkey has been used in a movie because they're generally much more aggressive and Boo was of course not harmed during the making of Monkey Shines. Next we have the dog from Cujo, a 1983 Stephen King adaptation about a mother and a son trapped in their car trying to protect themselves from a rabid St. Bernard. Five different St. Bernards were used and because they were so non-threatening, like they had to have their tails tied down to stop them from wagging, Dobermans had to stand in for them. Unfortunately the main dog of Cujo died after post-production with an infection, so the poor guy didn't even get to see the finished movie, rest in peace. Next we have The Thing, a John Carpenter movie from 1982 about a shape-shifting alien that inspires paranoia amongst a group in an Antarctic base. This starred a dog called Jed. He was a wolf dog and he had a whole host of movie credits to his name including White Fang 1 and 2, The Journey of Natty Gan, and he was born in 1977 and then died sadly in June 1995. Good age for a dog. He was actually adopted by Henry Winkler, aka the Fonz, his cousin Gary, and he lived with his trainer Clint Rowe until his death. Rest in peace, Jed. Next we have The Witch from 2015, a Robert Eggers movie which I highly recommend. Robert Eggers might be the most exciting director working today. It's set in the 17th century, 16th century in Old England and it's about a family who are getting haunted by a witch and possibly even the devil himself, embodied by Black Philip, the demonic goat. Now this goat was actually called Charlie and had a really bad temper. In fact, he nearly killed the, one of the main actors, Ralph Innocent, by goring him in the ribs, sending him to the hospital on no less than three separate occasions with damaged tendons, and he had to shoot a lot of his scenes on painkillers just to compensate, so the goat who played Black Phillip was just as evil as the character he played. Next we have The Fly from 1986, a David Cronenberg body horror remake of the 50s original. All about a man who has invented a teleportation device, but unfortunately, due to his experiments, he fuses his DNA with that for flies and transforms into one. This starred a baboon called Typhoon, who actually broke the door off one of the teleportation pods after being startled by flashing lights. Luckily, because baboons can be so vicious, he was dominated by the lead actor Jeff Goldblum. And good thing too, because female members of the crew would have had a very difficult time with a horny baboon running around. Their words, not mine. Now, these aren't really famous animal actors or anything, but I just want to give a shout out to all of the animals who died in the making of Cannibal Holocaust in 1980. We had a coati, a turtle, a tarantula, a boa constrictor, a squirrel monkey and a pig, all killed on film for real. I'm so sorry guys, you didn't deserve to die for this movie, or any movie for that matter. What's interesting though is that the natives in the movie were offered fake monkey brains, but they actually preferred to eat the real ones because they were considered a delicacy with their tribe. And that is a choice selection of horror animals, man, I really should have thought of a better title. Thank you very much for your service, horror animals, Jesus Christ, right, see you tomorrow.